hello everyone i'm so glad to welcome you back to the channel and in today's video i have a pc here from a client who has problem uh, recovering windows windows got a boot error and we tried a couple of methods to get it back and running but it seems not to work and so i'll show you a couple of the approaches i used which didn't really work out and then the final thing i did uh, i hope you never get to that point but then if you end up having the same problem uh, finally i had to use command prompt to assess the drive c and then i was able to copy every file the client had to an external hard drive and so first of all let's go through the the approaches that i used um okay so i'm trying to reset the pc and reinstall windows from the local copy of windows and this didn't work uh yeah so i'm trying to reset windows keep everything then It still didn't work so it just loads up to about 14 percent and then it tells me there was a problem blah 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 and i get back to the windows recovery environment So this this keeps happening. It, it attempts to repair your windows. It goes through the troubleshoot, the diagnosing, and then try to fix it. But you always come back to this screen. You always come back here. Nothing really seems to work. Okay, so let's try something else. this this is one of my first approaches also didn't work so over here i'm trying to restart the settings set it to a default but then this also did not achieve any result you know some of i'm going through this the solutions because it, it might work for some of you yeah it might work for some of you so over here i try to uninstall updates best i try with the quality update you know sometimes windows get into these errors because um you've been trying to update your pc but then setting files and uh, setting drivers and whatever you did not install properly so uninstalling some of the latest quality updates might put your windows in in the previous working state and you have a pretty good chance at getting it running again but uh, just that in my case it didn't work right on installing quality updates I, I i it didn't really work for me i just got another error okay yeah so there you have it it didn't work for me And one other thing I did, I tried install 
the updates if we uninstalling updates okay yeah so i went to check my restore points i didn't have any restore points there was no restore points if not i could have just reset it to a particular time You know, um, one thing about the UFI and firmware settings is if you didn't do anything, if you didn't go in there to change anything, you don't have a very good chance at getting it done because obviously it was working and all of a sudden it decided not to work. Okay, so one other thing I tried uh, was I think I went to command prompt we'll get to that in a little while uh, I, I i don't really want to mess with the firmware but then i went ahead anyway i started windows with some settings stand off and as usual i went through the diagnosing stage and then eventually I got myself back on the Windows recovery screen. So as you can see, every change that was made has been undone. Nothing really happened. Uh, this is a stage where Windows recovery <laughs> doesn't mind what you change it just always resets to the recovery screen every single time and it's it's a bit frustrating though but yeah so we are back here again nothing is really changing uh let's try one let's make one more attempt at it let's go again Troubleshoot advanced setup. So let's try startup repairs. Uh, like usual, we end up here. So I think it's time to try something radical. Now let's head to command prompt. You know, this version of command prompt comes with elevated privileges. So uh, it's like if you if this were to be on a Linux system, this is a root. Now we we'll use the command disk path to list the disks that are available on this device. Are using this part to list all this and then let's select this one that is the external hard drive i plugged in so they select this one Okay, then let's list the volumes okay so over here I think the volume um, we want to copy our stuff to is volume F okay so we we'll use volume F to copy the files so now we will type exit to exit this part and then we are back in the system drives Now we'll CD back to the root directory and then we go to drive C by pressing C and colon. Now we want to try it. So 
so at this point we we will list the content of the drive c by typing dir that should give us everything listed in drive c and then we are more interested in the users directory so we cd to users and then we type dir again to list the content of users then as you can see we have the the person's profile that is the pdk that's the user profile so we we'll cd to pdk and then um, we can see a list of everything in pdk okay so over here we can see everything here we have the downloads we have every other thing here and so this is pretty much everything that you should see on a typical windows drive c and so that is what we are interested in copying that is exactly what we are interested in copying so we are going to use a command x copy slash h slash i slash c slash k slash e slash r slash y and then c then colon then backward slash backward slash users backward slash users then slash f then colon uh, I think we are missing something here we are missing something here I think we are missing something here. Uh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We are missing the user profile, and so let's let's go back and then add the profile. Let's add the user profile. that's pdk okay now our command is complete so i'll hit the enter button this is the moment of truth so i'll say enter and as you can see everything is being copied to the drive volume f whatever file you are scared of losing you might have documents you might have videos whatever it is will be copied to that drive volume f on my external then we can safely reinstall windows clean install and not worry about losing important documents that we are not ready to part ways with yeah so this is done and I'll just try and then restart Windows from a USB drive. Okay. So uh, I'm I'm going to use the boot menu. Select my USB flash drive, which uh, that is Windows bootable drive. to happen okay so this 
gets back to uh, and inst the installation menu, fresh installing of Windows. Yeah, so guys, this is um, very exciting. Uh, it's it's not a good situation to be in that you would have to reinstall Windows altogether. I know uh, you might have to go through a lot to get to this point, but anyways, uh, it is better than losing everything you have. And so I would so much appreciate it if you like this video and then leave a comment and then share with others as well. Thank you guys. Stay blessed. Bye.